Winning the lottery seems like a dream beyond reach, but what if there is a secret formula to it? Today, let's dive into the mind of a mathematician who cracked the code of lottery strategies. Could these methods be the key to turning your ticket into a treasure? When it comes to winning the lottery, picking the right numbers is as crucial as it is unpredictable. A smart tactic used by many winners is choosing unpopular numbers. This strategy doesn't increase the odds of winning, but it does enhance the chances of not having to share the jackpot if you do win. The logic is simple. Most players pick numbers based on significant dates like birthdays and anniversaries. These numbers typically range from 1 to 31, corresponding to days in a month. By selecting numbers outside this range, you are less likely to pick numbers chosen by others. For instance, numbers above 31 are less commonly picked, making them ideal for this strategy. One notable example is the winner of a massive Powerball jackpot. They intentionally picked numbers beyond 31, resulting in not sharing the massive prize with anyone else. Another winner from a smaller state lottery followed a similar approach. They avoided commonly chosen numbers and ended up with the entire jackpot to themselves, as no one else had selected the same combination. After their wins, these smart players often managed their newfound wealth prudently. Some invested in real estate, others started businesses or contributed to charitable causes. Their winning strategy extended beyond just picking numbers. It included wise financial planning post-win. Unpopular numbers might lower the odds of sharing a jackpot, but what about the patterns in the numbers themselves? Let's find out how playing sequential numbers could be a winning formula. Choosing sequential numbers in lottery games like Powerball or Mega Millions is an intriguing strategy. This method involves selecting numbers that follow each other in order, like 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on. While this approach doesn't necessarily increase the odds of winning, it's been a popular choice for some repeat winners, including the famous Richard Lustig. Richard Lustig, known for his multiple lottery wins totaling over a million dollars, often advocated for this method. He believed that picking sequential numbers, although they have the same odds as any random set, might offer an edge in terms of jackpot sharing. Since fewer people tend to pick sequential numbers, in the rare event of a win, there's a higher chance of not splitting the prize. This strategy, while unique, has its skeptics. Mathematicians argue that since lottery draws are random, any combination of numbers has an equal chance of being drawn. However, the appeal of sequential numbers lies in their rarity in players' choices, not in their mathematical probability. After winning, individuals like Lustig used their winnings in various ways. Richard Lustig, for example, wrote a book sharing his lottery winning strategies and invested in creating a sustainable source of income. He became somewhat of a lottery guru, sharing his insights on how to approach lottery games. From playing sequential numbers to covering all bases, is buying every combination a genius move or a crazy gamble? Let's analyze this daring strategy. Some lottery players have tried a daring approach, buying every possible ticket combination in smaller lotteries. This strategy is about ensuring a win by covering all potential number combinations. It's particularly tempting in lotteries where the cost of buying each combination is less than a jackpot. This approach was famously executed by an Australian syndicate in the Virginia State Lottery in 1992. The group, led by Stefan Mandel, a Romanian-Australian economist, bought every possible combination for a lottery with a jackpot of over 27 mil. With the total number of combinations in this particular lottery being feasible for purchase, Mandel's group managed to secure the jackpot. However, it's important to note that this strategy is not without risks and challenges. The firstly, the logistics of buying millions of tickets can be daunting. The Australian group had to organize a system to buy and print millions of tickets, which is not a simple task. Secondly, there's always the risk of jackpot sharing. If other players also hit the jackpot, the winnings must be split, potentially reducing the return on investment. Furthermore, lotteries have since changed their rules to prevent this kind of play. They've increased the number of combinations and introduced measures to discourage bulk buying of tickets. Following their win, the Australian syndicate faced legal and logistical challenges, including scrutiny from the authorities. Nevertheless, they successfully navigated these challenges and walked away with a substantial profit. Covering every number is one way to play, but how about picking where you play? 
We're about to see why some players chase lotteries in states with the best returns. A clever strategy for lottery players is to focus on states with higher rates of return. This means choosing lotteries in states where the prizes are larger compared to the odds. While the chance of winning the lottery remains a game of luck, playing in states with better payback percentages can be a smarter move. For instance, some players prefer playing in states like Texas or Massachusetts, known for their relatively better odds and higher payouts. These states often have smaller populations or more favorable lottery structures, increasing the chances of winning more significant amounts. A notable example is a player from Massachusetts who won a substantial prize in the Mega Millions. They specifically chose to play in this state due to its reputation for higher payouts. After winning, they invested their winnings wisely, buying property and setting up a college fund for their children. Another example is from Texas, where a local resident won a hefty sum in the Powerball. They were drawn to the Texas lottery because of its history of large jackpots. With their winnings, the Texas winners supported local charities and started a small business, benefiting both themselves and their community. These stories highlight that where you play can be as important as how you play. Players who choose lotteries in states with higher returns may increase their chances of a more profitable win. However, it's crucial for players to remember that the lottery is still primarily a game of chance. No strategy can guarantee a win, and the odds are always slim. Let's not forget the instant thrill of scratch-offs. Are scratcher strategies all luck, or is there more to scratching than meets the eye? One effective approach to playing scratch-off lottery games involves focusing on tickets with unclaimed prizes. Players who adopt this strategy often check the lottery's website to see which games still have a large number of unclaimed, high-value prizes. The idea is that choosing tickets from these games might increase the chances of winning. For instance, let's talk about Sarah Johnson from Ohio. She regularly checked the Ohio Lottery website to identify which scratch-off games had the most unclaimed top prizes. Her strategy paid off when she won a significant amount from a scratch-off game called Gold Rush. She found out this game still had several unclaimed top prizes, so she decided to try her luck with it. After winning, Sarah used her prize money wisely. She paid off her debts and saved a portion for her children's education. Sarah's story shows that with a bit of research and a strategic approach, playing scratch-off games can sometimes lead to big wins. Another example is Mark Thompson from Florida. He used the same strategy, checking the Florida Lottery website for scratch-off games with many unclaimed prizes. He bought tickets from a game that still had several high-value prizes left. Mark's choice was fruitful as he won a substantial amount. With his winnings, Mark invested in a small business and set aside funds for retirement. His success story is a testament to the effectiveness of this scratcher strategy. The lottery is always a gamble, but for those who enjoy playing, strategies like focusing on unclaimed prizes in scratch-off games can add an extra layer of excitement to the game. Scratchers can be hit or miss, but what about playing it safe with small, steady games? Do consistent small bets really pay off? Let's check it out. Minimalist betting is a lottery strategy where players opt for lower stakes games that offer better odds for consistent yet smaller wins. This approach is less about hitting the jackpot and more about gaining modest but frequent winnings. It's popular among those who prefer a steady flow of small gains over the uncertainty of chasing larger prizes. Take the case of Emily Roberts from Texas. Instead of going for the massive Powerball or Mega Millions jackpots, Emily consistently played state lotteries like Texas Two-Step and Cash Five. These games offered better odds and required smaller bets. Her strategy paid off when she won several small prizes, amounting to a few thousand dollars over a couple of years. With her accumulated winnings, Emily didn't go for anything extravagant. She used the money for practical purposes, paying bills, taking a small vacation, and adding to her savings. Her story shows how playing smaller games can lead to consistent gains, making the lottery an enjoyable, low-risk hobby. Another example is Tom Allen from Georgia. He regularly played Georgia's Fantasy V, a game known for better odds than bigger lotteries. Tom's consistent playing strategy led to multiple small wins, accumulating a substantial amount over time. Tom used his winnings to fund his hobby of woodworking. He bought new tools and equipment, turning his garage into a well-equipped workshop. His approach to minimalist betting allowed him to enjoy his lottery experience without the stress of high-stakes gambling. 
Can you beat the system by finding its flaws? Up next, we'll dive into the world of strategic plays that outwit the game itself. Exploiting flaws in lottery systems is a rare but effective strategy. A classic example is Marge and Jerry Selby from Michigan. They noticed a loophole in the state lottery game Windfall. Their keen observation and mathematical skills led to a remarkable winning streak. The Selbys realized that Windfall's jackpot rules created an opportunity. When the jackpot reached $5 million without a winner, the game rolled down, spreading the winnings to lower tier prices. This increased the odds of winning something significantly. Jerry, with his background in mathematics, calculated that buying a large number of tickets during a roll-down week could almost guarantee a profit. They started by buying thousands of dollars worth of tickets. Their strategy worked, and they began winning substantial sums. Over nine years, they won several million dollars. The Selbys didn't keep all their winnings for themselves. They formed a betting group, inviting family and friends to invest and share the profits. After the game was discontinued, the Selbys retired from their lottery venture. They used their winnings wisely, investing in their retirement and helping their children and grandchildren financially. Their story isn't just about luck, but about how attention to detail and analytical thinking can lead to success. The Selby's approach shows that understanding the mechanics of a lottery game can reveal unique opportunities. While not everyone can replicate their success, their story is a fascinating example of how thinking outside the box can lead to unexpected financial gains. It's clever, but how did winners like Trotter transform their jackpot into lasting legacies? After winning a whopping 107.9 million pounds in the Euro Millions Lottery in 2014, Neil Trotter took an interesting route with his newfound wealth. Unlike many lottery winners who splurge on lavish lifestyles, Neil focused on investing in estate restoration and wildlife conservation, showcasing a different kind of passion and responsibility with his jackpot. Post-win, Neil purchased a luxurious grade 2 listed mansion, a dream for many. But he didn't stop there. He dedicated a significant portion of his funds to restoring and maintaining this historical property. This wasn't just about living in luxury, it was about preserving a piece of history. He understood the importance of conserving these estates, which are often a part of the country's cultural heritage. Beyond his interest in historical properties, Neil also displayed a deep concern for wildlife and nature. He invested in wildlife conservation efforts, showcasing his commitment to environmental stewardship. This kind of investment is not just financially beneficial in the long term, it also contributes significantly to the preservation of biodiversity and natural habitats. Neil's approach to using his lottery winnings is commendable. By focusing on restoration and conservation, he not only fulfilled his personal interest, but also contributed to meaningful causes. His actions reflect a thoughtful and responsible way of handling sudden wealth, setting an example for other lottery winners. Restoration and investment in such projects are unique among lottery winners. It requires a deep understanding and passion for the causes one invests in. Smart investments post-win are crucial, but could visualizing your victory be the first step to success? Let's see the power of positive thinking. Neil Trotter's remarkable win in the Euro Millions Lottery in 2014, where he bagged a whopping 107.9 million pounds, offers an intriguing look at personal belief and its role in lottery success. Trotter held a steadfast conviction that he would win the lottery, a mindset that was more than just casual optimism. It's essential to note that while Trotter attributed his success to this belief, the effectiveness of such strategies is a matter of personal opinion and not scientifically proven. Trotter's approach was rooted in his own perspective, where he visualized winning as a real possibility. This mindset, often linked to the concept of manifestation, suggests that strongly envisioning a desired outcome can influence its realization. However, it's crucial to understand that this is Trotter's belief, and such practices are subjective and not universally accepted or endorsed. Following his win, Trotter's life underwent significant changes. He invested his winnings into refurbishing a historic estate and supporting wildlife conservation. These investments reflect his personal interest and his desire to contribute positively to heritage and environmental preservation. While Trotter's story is indeed captivating and his belief system intriguing, it's important to recognize that lottery wins are fundamentally the result of chance. 
But how can detailed planning turn a dream win into reality? We'll take inspiration from Neil Trotter. When it comes to playing the lottery, having a plan for what to do with potential winnings is not something every participant considers. However, Neil Trotter, the winner of a whopping 107.9 million pounds in the Euro Millions in 2014, showcases the benefits of such forward thinking. Before winning, Neil wasn't just casting his lot in hope. He had clear ideas about how he would utilize his winnings. This kind of pre-planning indicates a level of seriousness and commitment to the process of lottery participation that goes beyond mere wishful thinking. It's a strategy that involves thinking ahead and envisioning a future with the potential windfall, thus preparing for the massive life changes that come with such fortunes. Upon winning, Neil's plans came into action. His approach was methodical and reflected his interests and values. One of his significant investments was in restoring a historic estate. This project was not just a personal indulgence, but a thoughtful way to preserve a piece of history. He also turned his attention to wildlife conservation, showcasing his care for the environment. Neil's story underlines the importance of having a plan when engaging in activities like the lottery. His planned approach to using the winnings helped to make decisions that were not just beneficial for him, but also positively impacted the broader community. Having a plan for potential winnings like Neil Trotter did offers a structured way to approach lottery participation. It helps in mentally preparing for the possible outcomes and ensures that if fortune does favor, the winnings are used in a way that aligns with one's goals and values. What about using your win to make a difference? Stay tuned to see how winners have changed lives, including their own. Neil Trotter's approach to using his 107.9 million pound Euro Millions jackpot is a shining example of generosity and personal fulfillment. After winning in 2014, Neil didn't just focus on his own dreams, he also committed to helping others realize their potential. One of the most notable aspects of Neil's post-win life is his dedication to supporting talented individuals. This commitment speaks volumes about his character. Instead of solely indulging in personal luxuries, he chose to extend his good fortune to others. By investing in the dreams and talents of people around him, Neil has made a significant impact on their lives. This form of generosity not only changes the lives of the recipients, but also brings a sense of purpose and fulfillment to the giver. Moreover, Neil didn't forget his own aspirations. He indulged in his passion for cars, notably purchasing high-end vehicles. This personal indulgence is a reminder that it's okay to enjoy the fruits of one's luck. Pursuing personal dreams with lottery winnings can bring joy and satisfaction, making the win all the more rewarding. Neil Trotter's story is a blend of altruism and personal enjoyment. His actions post-win illustrate how lottery fortunes can be used to bring happiness, not just to oneself but also to others. Helping talented individuals is a noble way to use such winnings, as it contributes to the growth and success of others. At the same time, fulfilling personal dreams adds to one's own happiness. As we've seen, the secrets to lottery success are as varied as the winners themselves. From mathematical strategies to the power of positive thinking, these tales of luck and savvy remind us of the endless possibilities. But what if you're still dreaming of hitting that big jackpot? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out 10 ways to increase your chances of winning the Powerball jackpot.